Hello everybody. Um, since I'll be soon running out of shirts to show you guys, um, well, I keep adding, but you know, I, I cannot add at a rate that I will have uh, these forever. And also since the jersey reviews are getting a little bit thin now that I've looked at most of the leagues, I still want to look at Spain. Um, there are a few jerseys left, I think some in England are left. Uh, potentially Germany so you know th there is still some stuff to go and yesterday when I saw the Klassiker between Ajax and Feyenoord yes uh, I think there are a few teams that are not playing European soccer or have not made it through the qualifi qualifying rounds that we probably have to look at as well you know as a big team um, review uh well, this will take me a little to get there and i'll slowly prepare this i think the next jersey review i want to do is for sure on the um nations league d which is already a lot of work because you need to find all these jerseys and maybe have to look up the matches and all that kind of stuff but i'm actually looking forward to that and if you go on my blog i'm writing about the nations league jerseys like crazy i every day i want to have one post out uh, about a home or away jersey and maybe when once i get to see i'll probably stitch them together unless they have been at year 2016 but I have to see how time goes at the moment I'm putting a lot of work in I actually enjoy the writing uh, a lot and you know I also want to give you my view on the games that I've been watching so yeah I can space it out a teeny little bit but uh, one feature that I want to do and I want to do at least one of uh, per week and I hope I have the first one already on Wednesday is I want to do sort of top 10 videos and the first one that I thought is I look at my collection and I saw that I have actually quite some tournament winning jerseys here and I'm looking here only at national teams they're all hanging here that I have and I thought well I want to rank the top 10 world cup winning jerseys uh, top 10 euro winning jerseys um, it will get a little bit more difficult when we look at champions league and so on but this will all be my personal opinion can be other top tens as well you know i probably one that i will do very very soon is the top 10 world cup goal scores because i've written something about it and i have facts to back it up so yeah uh looking forward to that but in order as a little teaser for that i thought let's look at all my world cup winning jerseys here most of which have already a dedicated video um some of it not yet i want to keep my african jerseys once the african cup of nations rolls around and for the copa um america i want to keep my a few south american jerseys uh some of which we have seen some of which we haven't and you will see now a few that i have uh yeah too, too many i think you will see two that I have not made a dedicated video on, I think. Uh, and I'm going going chronologically. I have them hanging here chronologically. Uh, so this is World Cup winners and Euro winners. I know very European perspective, but you know, I am from Europe and for me, it's always a two year cycle. You have the World Cup, you have the Euros, you have the World Cup, you have the Euros. Uh, and that's how it's etched in my mind. I'm trying my best and I will probably do a top 10 uh copa america winning jerseys and all that kind, kind of kind of stuff uh when it can when it gets there just excuse myself this is how i'm doing how i think how i'm thinking and you know um we'll get there eventually first one is of course and i keep showing this one because i love it so much is that's the first or oldest that i have the 94 brazil jersey absolute beauty I think most of you will agree with that. Um, actually, when I, I was thinking about the car color, I'm, I'm not sure how high, high this will rank uh, already. But to me, this is, I'm so happy that I have this shirt now. Uh, you cannot believe it. Romario should go on there. The next one, I don't have the 96 Germany jersey. I don't have the 98 France jersey because I had the 96 France jersey back then and I know my brother my, has the 98 France jersey I hope he still has it I'm a little bit um, how to say envious that he got the World Cup winning one but I liked back then the 96 one better but I have the 2000 France jersey Tata of course with Zidane on the back yes we have talked about this I wanna get into repairing this because I think it's entirely possible to have this look nice again uh, maybe seal it up 
but yes, this is was is still my favorite France jersey. So um, gonna rank highly there. Now this is not necessarily a winning jersey, but it's from the winning team. And I, when I got this from Yanis, I was it made click to me. I have now from every row a Euro winning team since team since two thousand. This was a heavy. From every Euro winning team since the year 2000, I have a shirt, Greece 2004, so that actually completes it. Of course, they won it in white, but they were wearing uh, the home jerseys, the blue one. So, you know, it's it's a half. It's a half. I still count it because Greece won it. I have Greece jersey of that time. Then, yeah, now this is a little bit the black spot. I want to get, you saw the video. This is not the... Uh, original this is a copy although it's a good not so bad looking copy honestly Italy 2006 uh, the material it's like a raincoat that's what I couldn't find when I did the video yeah I have a Italy 2006 shirt I would like to have the real deal uh, I will eventually get there you know time will tell then this one is an original Spain 2008 of course Torres and I have it with the patch back then you I could get it of course there's the respect is missing um, number nine back there number nine Torres also a little bit beaten up but I know how to fix this I just have to find the time to get there then uh, another jersey I have not made a video of I think that's it I've made a video, uh, a video about this one already, so that's the other one. And why is Argentina hanging here? Argentina 2008? Huh, weird. Well, they won the Olympics. Not exactly in this one, because this was ghosted out, but they won the Olympics in a very similar shirt. Now, this shirt is special. It is number 10, and it is only number 10 back here. Um, I have a story with that that I will leave for the video. But what is special is that I bought this on sale, I think, for $30, and then I wanted to have a number 10 on there. But this is the style for 2010. This was on sale. This is a 2008-2009 version. It was on sale, and, and then I wanted the number 10, the original one, and they gave me the new one. So this is kind of an anachronistic shirt. doesn't fit well together. 10-10. And that this style is the real one is because in 2010 I got this jersey. World Cup winning jersey from Spain by the winning goal scorer. And Iniesta had a Torres who scored the winning goal against Germany. I have Iniesta who scored the winning goal against the Dutch. Um, I can already say this one will rank highly in my top 10 countdown. I absolutely love this shirt. And when I look at it, it yes, also needs a little bit of repair. But it's not in that bad condition. Then, um, 2012, I have the Spain jersey that beat Italy. <laughs> it's my wife's. <laughs> I actually wish I had a nine male version. I will probably get it uh, so, so, so later. But I, at least I can say I have, uh, together with my wife, this would be the one with the star that I really would like to have. Uh, actually, really nice looking. I like this part here. That actually looks nice, and then you have a little bit Spanish flag details. It's overall a nice looking shirt. Again, it's my wife's, it's not mine. And the next one was kind of a surprise that I got it, but I saw it on sale, 2016. I don't have 2014 Germany. I have, I gotta tell you, of the 2014 World Cup, I bought three shirts um, prior and during the tournament, I wanted to get a Brazil shirt. I wanted to get an, I saw the Argentina shirt in Bulgaria, the current one for um, 40 euros in, a, in an Adidas store. I just said, I have to get this one. And then during the World Cup, I just fell so in love with both the France and the Netherlands jersey. And I decided ultimately on the Netherlands jersey because this was so orange and beautiful and I had many France jerseys. Still wish I had that particular France jersey. If France would have beaten Germany, I would have had the jersey of the World Cup winner. But no, Germany went through all of them. The Germany jersey at the time I didn't like, but I think it has grown on me. I think that one aged well. So I don't have 2014, but I have 2016 Portugal. That was also a fluke to get this one. I remember in 2017 walking in a sports store at a mall close to my work. 
I had to get a birthday present for my nephew and he wanted to have a last shirt and then I see this on sale 50% off the euro winning jersey you gotta be kidding uh, so I got this one it's not my favorite Portugal jersey but it's the it's a very comfortable to wear uh, you actually I'm not sure if I showed this in the video I like this mint inner striping so I got this one and then the other thing, the last one, of course, is the 2018 France jersey that I actually want to do another video about this one because the first video that I made was the first one that I ever made. And when I watch it now, <laughs> even the, the thumb that is me like this, I don't know. Oh, now I can tell so many more stories about it. I'm more comfortable doing this now. I cannot believe that was the only World Cup jersey that I bought prior to the World Cup. They became World Cup winners and I know this is not me uh, gloating or anything. I got this for 55 euros. Before the World Cup I got the World Cup winning jersey for 55 euros. World Cup winning because it also has only one star here. It doesn't have the two stars yet. Um, I also love this one a lot. I know people will not necessarily like the dark color. I have something to say about it but actually i really like this one it's a more modern looking shirt it's not a classic looking shirt the only thing but the thing that i really like is i mean look at the crest this is so beautiful so beautiful little thing absolutely gorgeous that to me alone and then that it had i actually liked this dark color and i actually like also that the um, splash is here it, there is something about it that i really like about that one i don't like it, the replica the, the splash is a little bit um darker as on the player version ones and also not as you can see it's just an afterthought here and on the player version it is all over almost a little bit too much i would say so those are my tournament winning jerseys and yeah I'm gonna do a top 10. I have been thinking about it uh, just prior to making th th this video. It is a tough choice. But I can tell you that the jersey that most people will say is probably the best um, will not rank highly with me. That's just as a teaser. Well, that was just a preview. I will use this as a background for my top 10. Uh, when I talk about the World Cup and Euro winning jerseys, I think it's a very appropriate background. Let me know which World Cup winning or Euro winning or Copa America winning and so on jerseys you have. Actually, this one in the four version won actually the Copa America. Won the Copa America. No, no, that it didn't. It didn't. Uruguay won that one. <laughs> so I'm not hanging my other replica there, but it was right. Anyway, let me know which ones you have, um, which ones you like and you dislike. You know, I'm always up. I'm giving you my personal opinion, but you know, they are, you're entitled to yours. I'm entitled to mine. And it's just uh, nice to talk about jerseys and which one people like and dislike. Tastes are different. And that's the beauty of it. Um, having said all that, I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of those and I will talk to you soon.